What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of video games, we're going to be checking out King's Bounty 2. If you've never played King's Bounty before, King's Bounty is a game that's kind of like Might and Magic. I always felt like it was sort of a modernization of those ideas after Might and Magic sort of like stopped making games, I guess. Or like Heroes of Might and Magic. Uh, this is a game where you pick a main character. It is an RPG, but at the same time it's a tactical army builder. Uh, where you will recruit fantasy things like dragons and spearmen and, you know, war dogs and you know, yetis and all that kind of stuff to your army, and then you will rampage your way across the countryside doing tasks in the pursuit of the noble narrative. So anyways, we're going to dive on in today, take a look at it, see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list. If after watching this you did indeed want to do that, I will have a link for you down below. You can also find a link to my Discord, my Twitch stream, and also my Twitter. Let's go ahead and get started. We get to pick from three characters here. We can be Avar the Warrior. We can be Catherine the Mage. Or we can be Elisa the Paladin. Okay. I like Paladins. I'm kind of a sloppy sucker for Paladins, so I think we're going to have to go with the Paladin. Although Avar and, like, these two have their style on point, And I am greatly tempted by aesthetics most of the time. But, like, she's the worst looking, but also she's a Paladin, which is my favorite class in, like, everything fantasy related. So, I guess we'll go ahead and do the Paladin, even though we look a little bit scruffy. Get up! Come on, hurry! The warden is calling! Are you really going to save Nostra, as they say? Of course. But why do you ask? You can discuss it with Warden Valber. Come out of that cell. I'll escort you. What happened? Bastion, should I be worried? Let's go. You know the warden doesn't like to be kept waiting. The sooner you get to his office, the sooner you'll learn everything. I can tell you this much. It's good news for you. Well, that's good. As long as it's good news for me. I mean, everybody else can get, like, wrecked, but, like, oh, no, dude. My walk speed is faster than his walk speed. Re Video game problems. Quite a lot has happened. Rumor has it the king is dying. And that Montier and the prince can't agree on how to divide power. I sense that we'll be seeing a fresh batch of prisoners soon. I feel like that's one of those video game 101 rules, like if you're going to have like an NPC walk slowly while talking to the character, the character's walk speed should be locked to the exact same speed that the NPC's is, so that like you're not constantly starting and stopping like we had to do all the way to- I mean it's not that far, but it's one of those things where I'm like, me. Your belongings are in yonder chest. Take everything or you'll freeze to death. The prison's warmer than outside, slightly. All right, to yonder the chest then. The <laughs> he just keeps talking. I get the feeling he doesn't get to talk to a lot of people. He just keeps talking independent of whether or not I'm paying attention. And look, just like that, we don't look frumpy anymore. We actually have, like, real armor. Is that, like, chain mail? No, that's just cloth. So we've got, like, a little breastplate or whatever, but it's not much to go with for right now. There's a letter on the wall. Hold on, what does the letter say? Attention! A dragon has been spotted over Albus Ridge. In case of a dragon situation, prisoners are advised to lie down on the cell floor and cover their heads to protect from the lizard's fiery breath. Okay, but this is in the hallway, which we do not have access to, so that feels like relevant information that probably should have been disseminated. He's still talking. <laughs> Hopefully he didn't say anything plot relevant, otherwise we're going to be in the dark. Didn't you hear? A messenger arrived today, all the way from Marcella. All right, I'm just going to go talk to the warden. I don't even know if he's talking to me. Hold on, there's a book. Selected remarks from His Majesty the King. Well, I don't get XP or anything for reading, so I guess I'm going to abandon literacy in favor of drooling and brawling. So much fuss and all for what? Who the hell do you think you are making me wreak havoc in my prison? My name is Elisa of Lorien, Sir Valber. Higher powers called upon me to save Nostria. Hmm. Well, well. I heard a little more than that. As Flavius the Wisecracker eloquently wrote, there's nothing new in this world. But I haven't received a letter like this in all seven years of my tenure at Crucis. 
Prince Adrian orders that you be freed and sent to Marcella. Also, you won't be leaving here on foot. I was ordered to return your gold and belongings, provide you with a horse, and, <laughs> let me read it aloud, allocate some of my own garrison as your personal guard. Madness! I beg to differ, Sir Warden. In my opinion, his Highness is finally acting with prudent good sense. Whether the Prince is sane or not is of no consequence. I cannot disobey my liege. Bastion should have returned your money and belongings by now. <laughs> if he didn't steal them himself. Quartermaster Aston will supply you with weapons. As for gold, you have plenty already. Go to Desim to collect your guards. He has a platoon of troublemakers he's wanted rid of for a long time now. He'll be glad to hand them over. I also advise you to purchase some dogs for the road. And what else did His Highness request? Ah yes, a horse. Levit the stable boy has a soft spot for nags too old and worn down to work. I'm sure he can pick one out for you. Thank you so much, Sir Warden. It's cool, it's cool. Let's go pick up our stuff, man. It sounds like I get dogs, and I'm a big dog guy, so like, hopefully they're big fluffy ones. That's what I hope for. Like, I need a dog that you can use as a pillow. I'm gonna assume that this is Aston over here. What do you need, human? A shovel, perhaps? Have you been sent to the stables, too? No, I've got a dirtier task ahead of me today. And I need a weapon. Oh, sacred forefathers. Why would I ever do that? His Highness Prince Adrian summons me to his court. I am free now. By Mactus's horns. This is the first time I've ever seen a human leave Crucis on their own two feet. If you got gold, treat yourself to something new. Go ahead. Sweet. A crossbow? That's not a paladini weapon, dude. I need like a giant warhammer that radiates light every time it impacts with the skulls of my orcish foes. Fine. Take the crossbow. Aston didn't shortchange you on equipment. I warrant you'll survive the Albion Highlands. Go, human. May your body be as hard as flint and your soul as clear as crystal. Beautifully said. Thank you, Mr. Aston. May you be hard and clear yourself. Mmm. Not the poetic greeting that I would give, but you know what? I'm just gonna let that one lie. Oh, look at those dogs right there, dude. They're mastiffs. Nice, dude. Let me get some mastiffs. What are you doing here? You're not permitted to be wandering about like a stray cat. His Highness Prince Adrian has summoned me to Marcella. Sir Warden has sent me to you for protection. Sir so Centurion, it's true. The Warden received a missive from the Prince ordering the provision of a guard troop for the prisoner. A uh, former prisoner. Huh? Never heard of a prisoner being released. Now, well, I believe I have some laggards and troublemakers I can spare. Can I go too? Oh, how I miss the sunny warmth of the capital. No, Bastion, you're not rotten enough to let go. I can still make a decent guard out of you. I heard you train dogs, too. Can you spare me a few of your meanest? The only thing you'll be getting for free is a family of bedbugs. I spent a year training those hounds. Now, if we're talking about an exchange of gold for flesh, that's another bowl of kibble entirely. You'll get the best dogs in Nostria. Best? My father's farm was guarded by Frost Guard Shepherds. Now those are war dogs. These recruits might not be the brightest candles at the feast, but my fighting dogs are as fierce as the Warden himself. You won't regret a single gold piece spent on these animals. I mean, they do look pretty sturdy, and I do enjoy me a good sturdy muscle dog. I have one. Big old bulldog. He's pretty rad. He also makes for, like, a really good pillow because he's not that mean, even though he looks mean. All right. Well, we got to pick up some dogs over here. So there we go. We got some dogs. Can I get more dogs? Oh, uh, not enough leadership to recruit. But what if I just want to have, like, a giant hound squad? Man. I need my I need my own dogs out here, dude. So apparently I can take a look at my army over here. We've got ourselves some spearmen, and we've got some dogs. Look at that, dude. They got little 50-cent bullet vests on, dude. I like it. All right. They got, they got little Kevlars on. Let's go get our horse real fast. We got to go over to the stables and see if we can get ourselves a long-legged creature to uh, spare our boots from the weariness of the road. Ah, 
it's you. You're the one who poisoned that scoundrel, Claudius. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Claudius? Me? Don't be modest. You did a great thing here, and history will not forget you. Of course history won't forget me. I am the savior of Nostria, after all. Also, the savior needs a horse. All you're asking is a horse? Just a horse? Have no worry. You'll get our best. Saddle up quickly. You've probably forgotten how to ride after half a year in a cell. You can go now. Actually, wait. What's wrong, Bastion? I wanted to warn you about sentry golems. Be wary of them once you're past New Tyrene. Thanks for the warning. But I thought the golems were only to be found at Crucis. The mage Rossum took them to clear a landslide. What they lack in brain, they make up in brawn. Since they don't know you've been released, they're liable to crush you. As you pass the southern ruins, find the archer's squad commander, Ansel. A royal messenger said the squad will join you and augment your escort. I'm hoping that by the time you get there, they'll catch the marauder who's been raiding abandoned houses. Wonder why old Berengarius didn't turn him into a chicken. Excuse me, who's this Berengarius chap? Will he be joining me? That's up to his magicness. I have no authority over him. Perhaps he'll decide to leave these cold, inhospitable lands for the warmth of the mage's tower. Come on, mount up. All right. Well, there's my horse. That's a big horse, dude. That's a that, that's a horse that's got some serious height to him. All right, off we go. Apparently, I get to be all like MMO style mounted right now. That's pretty sweet. That's a teleporter point. It allows you to teleport around the map, and go back to points that you've already been. We don't really need to worry about it for right now because like the first one. But we'll cruise up and over this little bridge right here, scatter some birds to the breeze, and see if we can find ourselves a little bit of trouble in the greater wild world of Albania. See, that's when they said I was going to get dogs. I thought I was going to get fluffy ones like those ones right there. I, li I like dogs that have, like, a small degree of fluffiness to them. Like, maybe not, like, maximum fluffiness because vacuuming the couch is a headache, but, like, a moderate level of fluffiness. Like, enough fluffiness to where if you use them as a pillow, it's comfy. Alright, so we get to deploy our units right here, now that we're leading our army. And so it wants me to take the dogs of war, and it wants me to swap them with the spearmen for some reason. I don't know, tutorial stuff. Uh, this dog is going to run up on us right here. We got another set of dogs over on that side. I'll probably send the spearmen out to meet with them. Uh, we'll move over to this side, and I'm just going to see if I can gut this dog real fast. Nope, not going to kill him. Uh, we attack, and they get a counterattack if they survive. And so both sides are going to take damage. When it lists the damage, I do think it could do a better job of making it apparent who took the damage. Like, I think a line going out, and then the ticking, like, the line goes out, and then the, you know, the damage text will go tick, 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 tick. And then this one goes out this way and goes tick, 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 tick. Like, how much damage received, basically. As of right now, it gets a little bit muddy, and it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, so they want me to use a precise strike skill that makes us automatically crit against the enemy that we decide to attack with our spearmen. So there it is. Uh, we've done 73 damage. It does actually, I guess it's got a little bit more apparent. When we attacked that guy right there, the numbers were like right next to each other. And so I was like, eh, it's kind of hard to see. Apparently we won on the counter attack right there and we didn't lose any units. So huzzah, I've completed the tutorial. I'm a champion of all things, both digital and gaming. Uh, we will take 125 gold coins because apparently these wolves had deep pockets. They also have a burning ray scroll, so apparently these guys were budding mages. And then we've got some mana over here, so we need it in order to research, cast, and upgrade spells. Okay, good to know. I will keep that in my back pocket. This appears to be the town that they warned us about, so we'll keep a weather eye out. I do like the design of that background right there. That looks pretty good. I like the look of the snow on the trees, too. It actually looks really, really good. All right. I mean, the characters are a little bit stiff, as is the voice acting, but the environmental it's design no seems good. to be I fairly good looking. Hands. Yeah, it looks like the statue ain't got any arms. Oh, there's like a... What is this? There's like a big old hole right there that they've sealed off. Anything inside the well? A luxurious lantern and 75 gold. Hopefully people stop leaving their stuff laying around, man. I'm making a fortune just cru- Why do we even need to be an adventurer and respond to the king? Oh, we found a right arm. Nice. I wonder if it opens up that hole back there if we put both arms in. I bet you that's what happens, dude. All right, let's go ahead. We've got a deer pelt and 102 gold right there. 
I don't know where the other arm might be at. It looks like we can cruise straight through town. There's a shrine over here. Periodically, you'll find shrines on the map. They're places of power. They increase your stats. That one gave me 50 XP, but sometimes they'll be like plus one strength, and sometimes they'll be like plus five mana or whatever else. Oh, cool, dude. We got talent points. Well, let's go take a look and see what we can allocate there. So this is our talent tree. It looks like we do have a talent point, and the talent tree is kind of divided up into a couple of subgroups, and these things are opposed to each other. So order is opposed to anarchy. Power is opposed to finesse. Every unit and every character in the game basically favors one of these stats and they tend to do well against like the other thing and they tend to not like being in the same group with stuff of the opposite alignment so for example as a paladin i would guess that we're going to spend most of our time in alignment with order and that adding anarchy troops to our army will more than likely uh, cause some kind of friction power balance morale penalty for power ideal units is reduced by one when combined with units of other ideals what does that one do right there Oh, can I unclick it? Yes, I would like to unclick it. What does that one do? Finesse balance. So this is really, we want to decide whether or not we want to take power units. Like, basically, what do we want to supplement the order, guys, that we have? I'll probably go maybe with finesse. That sounds pretty cool, because I bet order units are all, like, heavy cavalry and stuff. We've got a quest log on this side. There's also an over map that we can take a look at inside the UI here. Looks like there's a quest back over... That way? I think I did see that guy standing there with the thing above us. Oh, there's the other arm right there. Let's grab that and see if we can slot it in here. I got the other That's arm. I, I got the other arm. Oh, sweet, dude. I wonder if I get anything rad in there. Like some magical chainmail with like a dragon on it. Everybody knows that armor performs better when it has a dragon on it. We got a traveling hat. Okay. You can find wayfaring magic scrolls in shops and among your trophies. They can enhance the hero's power for a few battles or add more units to the army. Okay. So apparently there's a menu that I missed here. We can press the B key. Ancestral experience. So for three battles, we get bonus XP. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea at the beginning of the game. I do like that actually she gets to keep her hair, even though she put a hat on. Uh, that's always a frequent problem you run into with RPGs and other games where the characters have equipment, is that the hair model has to be removed in order to fit the helmet on. And actually, they've managed to design it in such a way where that doesn't have to happen. And so that's actually kind of a rarity in games, and I'm happy to see it. It looks like there's a little path right here. Yeah, a little path. Let's go ahead and grab this treasure chest over here. So the Bills of Debt, Doubt One, Decoder, and Pink Gloves. Oh, we put the pink gloves on right there. Sweet, dude. All right. Do they do anything for me? Like, so what do the pink gloves do? They give me some magic power. That gives me what plus one health. That gives me armor. That gives me warfare. Okay, I don't know what any of those stats do, but like... Let's see here. Increases allied unit damage by 2%. Gotcha. Okay, so it's just like flat stats that make things easier. I'm going to go back over here. Let's talk to this bandit guy and see if he's got anything good for us. Where's my where's my horsinator at? There he is. Come, horsey. Bear me to victory. Hey, there's a dwarf over here. Let's talk to him. Hail, sir dwarf. What requires ye? What happened? Are you from Crucis? Quickly, come with us. Run trouble I'm a lumberjack we're nothing but dwarven woodcutters honest we cut down trees and send the lumber on to Crucis the humans have all left the valley only us and a few locals remain Stein is our chief so then this Lupin a man from Riggan arrives at our village ah uh, he was stirring up trouble trying to recruit the remaining human hunters to join him in his wicked deeds then Lupin's men seized the village they captured Stein and are trying to start a fight with the dwarves. Things could easily turn bloody. We took them in purely out of kindness, and this is how they repay us. Disgusting! Help us! Quick, run! Okay. I'll back you up, bro. Let's get this thing going, dude. You know I got a soft spot for the dwarves, so, like, I'm definitely gonna back you up. Ooh, what is that? What does this do? Oh, nice, dude. My magic power went up by one. Sweet. I don't know how much magic I'm going to be using as a paladin. Probably a little bit. Probably more than the mercenary, but still. Ooh, there's a trader over here? Yeah, let's go talk to the trader, man. You got anything? Oh, he's got some wolves? They're power units, huh? Yeah, let's get some wolves. There we go. Add some more dogs to the squad. Apparently, I can get a third unit now. 
I wonder, like, is there, like, a list somewhere of how much, like, leadership that I need in order to pick up new guys? That'd be one of those things that I would assume exists somewhere, but honestly, I don't know. There's a book. I didn't get anything for reading the book. See, this is why I'm always saying things like, I don't read. Right here. If books really wanted me to read them, they would give me stat boosts. That's what they would do, is I would read the book, and I would know how to shoot a fireball out of my eye socket. You don't make the rules around here, Lupin. What goes around the forest comes around the forest, right through these trees. Easy there, little beard. Enough serving jailers. It's time we made some changes around here. It's time to cut out your filthy tongue! Why don't you take a nice little stroll in the forest and never come back? Lupin has a point. You folk under the mountain would do best to listen. Valbert and the other Nostrians are making you slave your lives away for a pittance. We say, take power into your own hands and throw them out the valley. You traitor. Mangy cur. We live peacefully alongside the humans. They're our trading partners. They bring us bread from the south. We have order here. That's the way we like it. There's plenty of firewood in the forest, but bread, not so much. And to think we sheltered you thankless dogs. We ought to drive you back into the mountains. You'd best be aware, shorties. Expect no mercy from us. Hey, Lupin, look! One of the Crucian prisoners, another victim of Claudius and Valbert. You're just in time. We need another strong arm right about now. I won't argue about my arm, but why should I help? You're human. This concerns you too. These jumped up dwarf and lumberjacks have it too good. They're living like little lords on handouts from the fort, from that damned Valbert. We local hunters, on the other hand, are being oppressed. Only I, Lupin, can grant any hope of justice. Don't you remember how they treat prisoners? I worked for Valbert myself until I escaped. You'd turn blue if you'd seen what I'd seen. Most of them are rotting alive in there. Not because they're bandits or murderers, mind. Just because they dared say something about the drunkard king. It's not humane. It's not right to take out your hatred for the king on these dwarves. What do you intend to do? We've decided to seize Crucis. We're going to starve the fort by cutting off their access to food and fuel. When we triumph, we'll free all the prisoners. But the dwarves are against us. So we need to force their hand. Then it will be Valbert's turn to answer for his misdeeds. If you're not going to help us, your other option is to spill our blood. Human blood. Hmm. I would have preferred to get, like, a little bit more information about this whole thing. So, like, we can support the rebels, and that means that they will attack the fort, and they will free the prisoners who are inhumanely treated, even though I haven't seen that with my own eyes. Or we can support the dwarves. And, like, I feel like dwarves are good judges of character. Like, dwarves are usually of a good alignment. So I feel like using my judgment from previous fantasies, that, like, you can trust, like, that the dwarves are working here, it can't be, like, that bad. Like, I don't think dwarves really labor in the service of evil. Die! Alright, so he's got pikemen, I've got wolves, he's got like some kind of guy with a bandana on his face. Alright, so let me bring my wolves. I want to have a nice, strong line. Where can they move to on the first turn? Like, how aggressive can I be here? It looks like I can go up to here, so that's what I'm going to do. We'll kind of like push forward a little bit. And then we'll see if we can funnel them over here. I'd rather have this not be a straight fight, in all honesty. I wish that either way they're going to flood around, I think. So I think we'll be all right. So what do I have here? I've got an ability, attack and withdraw. Allied unit is teleported to an enemy unit, dealing 68 to 92 damage. And then it goes back to its original control zone. That's actually pretty dope, dude. I'm going to do that. Did it work? Wow, that's a strong ability, dude. That's like a really, really good ability. All right, what do you guys do? So they've got the bloody bite. Okay, I can't really do anything with that for right now. So I figure we just kind of wait and see what these guys do. So they're trying to flank around that left-hand side to what 
purpose, I don't really know. I'm gonna send the spearmen up to finish them off. Okay, so they're now dead. It does look like we can get a little bit of a closer view on the battle too. So they do 56 to 75, the counterattack will do 13 to 38. Go ahead and swing them around wide. I'm gonna wait on like any attack motion. Obviously, I would kind of prefer to draw them in first so that I can get double attacks on them and save my abilities. There we go. I was hoping they would join combat with the spearmen. So they tried to crack our armor or something. They are focusing fire. We lost a spearman right there, which is not ideal. I would have preferred to do all this without casualties. All right. Well, we can probably finish them off, maybe. No, we can't. Well, let's soften them up a little bit, I guess. They didn't really return that much damage, so... These guys over here, however, we're going to have to do something about. What spells do I have? I have Doubt, Inflicts Initiative, Decrease Debuff on the enemy unit. Okay, so it makes them act further back in the chain. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, get on in there and just kind of soften them up for a minute. Good, we got one of them. That's what I like to see. You come over here and you will finish them off. Oh, they're bleeding too. Did that kill him? No, he's not dead from the bleed. And then our spearman got to the old stabity stab right there and, you know, pun punched a few more holes in him, left him a little bit more Swiss cheesy than they were before. I don't know how we restore a unit. It looks like maybe we heal them. Yeah, it looks like we can press H to heal it in exchange for a little bit of money. That's actually, I prefer that. That's very, very easy, and I don't have to go back to a the town or anything. Speaks not when grass is tread. Mankind alone grieves for the dead. A forest teems, here a hare, there an owl. And branches blow, the pines will return after all. You use such beautiful language, Mr. Stein. It's such a shame everything had to end up in a fight. The people of these lands have suffered enough already. I weep for the hunters. Save it for someone who cares, old man. As we dwarves say, you can't shore up a tunnel without cutting down a few trees. Now that those troublemakers have been taken care of, our lives will surely get better. Maybe we'll find an ore vein and then start our own mine. Glorious. Thank you, noble human. I have nothing to repay your kindness, but my uncle lives nearby. He'll reward you handsomely. Please pay him a visit. Okay. I will go out of my way in order to do that. Apparently, I acted in the service of order by doing that, so that's good. Recruiter Mark has received new units. All right. I mean, the way I see it, right, the king let me out of jail to do some heroic-ish. Like, he can't be all that bad. Like, they were calling him the drunkard king or whatever, but, like, he freed me from prison. Fair enough, I was also imprisoned in the first place, but like, I don't know, maybe he's trying to make amends, dude. It's hard to tell. Looks like there's a little path up that way. I'm just going to do a quick ride around here and see if there's anything laying around. Doesn't look like it, but it does look like I can go this way. Yeah, there we go. Whereas, I like that there's little secret areas and stuff. This is like the second or third little secret path we found. In random areas. So we've got an axe head. We've got some gold. I'm going to do the rest of this on foot. You stay there, Leonard. I, yeah, I named my horse Leonard, by the way. The Dancing God's Mask and 60. Is that like an item I can equip? Is that like a, a thing that you can... Useless trash can be sold. An item for sale. Okay, bills of debt. Useless trash can be sold. Gotcha. So apparently I'm like selling debt to people at this point. Uh, let's head back. We've gotten a couple of treasures. We've helped out resolve a quest. I'm feeling pretty good about my decisions. Um, the horse riding, a little finicky. A little, little finicky in tight areas. That's why I've been, like, favoring the horse when I'm, like, out and about and around the land. But, like, when I'm inside of an actual, like, small corridor or whatever, I usually pop off the horse because the horse control can be a little bit odd. Either way, we resolved a source of conflict in this area, and it gave us order points, so I assume that I did the right thing. I'm like kind of a sloppy sucker in video games. I can't help it. I always end up playing the good guy. Like I tell myself I'm going to go through and do like a chaotic neutral thing, or I'm going to do like an evil thing, 
And then I never end up doing that. Oh, the gate is open. Cool. Who's this, then? Ah, it's my nephew Lester's human friend. You help deal with those angry hunters. Thank you, human. And my thanks to you, hard workers. Lester asked if I could pay you back somehow. Here, take this. It's not a lot, but it's honest money. Cool. 300 gold and some boots? Yeah, everybody need a good pair of shoes. Did it auto-equip the boots? What do the boots do for me? The boots give me a little bit more health. Nice. And so the health stat increases allied unit. Probably HP by like a certain percentage would be my guess. How come it won't let me select down here? It won't let me select down in this area. I do like that the gear actually shows on your character, though. That's nice for a change. Normally with games like this, like you start out looking like you do in the character selection. You just stay that way forever. There's like moderate changes as you level up and get bigger. There's a book over here. I'm not going to read through it, but like maybe it'll give me something. Either way, that's pretty cool. Is this guy like a vendor or something over here? Like, it said that he was like a merchant or something. Oh, well. It said that one of the merchants restocked his units, so it's plausible that we might be able to pick up new units somewhere. All right, back up onto the horse, and let's get cruising. Let's get cruising. I do like the snow sounds underfoot. Those sound really, really good as far as the sound design goes. And actually, I did like the character design, like on the actual character selection screen. And if we take a look at our units, they all look pretty good. They're well textured. The animations feel solid. They feel well put together. It's really just kind of, I think, the uh, the weird Uncanny Valley thing that our main, um, our main lady character has going on with that wide, kind of doe-eyed look. What's up with these chonk boys? There's Witchstone, and there are the golems. Where's Rossum? Find Rossum the golem master. Okay. There's a note on the tree over here. Maybe he left it. Attention everyone, lumberjacks and hunters. There's a collapse near the Witchstone. Golems are clearing the road. If anybody tries to walk there before it's done and confuses them, they are set to combat mode. Anyone trying to cross the Witch Circle before the clearing is done will be beaten. Okay, so maybe we leave that for later. Maybe we run into this Rossum guy around and doing his thing. The city map and some gold. Sounds good. I do wish that there was a sprint button so we could run a little bit faster. Uh, this game actually functions to the converse of what I'm normally used to in games. When you hold down shift, you just walk normally. Yep, walk animation looks all right, though. Anything back over in this little alcove? Doesn't look like it. Who is this guy? Oh. There's like little Roonies. Do I have any idea what Roonies I'm supposed to be pushing? My general feeling from playing Dungeons and Dragons and whatnot is that like touching runes haphazardly when you have no idea what the sequence is has this tendency um, to go awry. And I don't want it to go awry. I, I would prefer for it to go smoothly and without incident. So maybe I'll leave those alone. Maybe there's like something around here that like I can take a look at. I don't see anything about runes in that right there, just speed reading it. Over here on the chest, we've got venomous skull, precious scissors, and 153 gold. We'll absolutely take those. But it doesn't look like there's any hint as to what... Oh, the candelabra. Hold on. Hey, secret room behind the bookcase. RPGs 101. Some random selling loot. Some spells. Some free mana. Cauldron right there. I'm carrying around a lot of stuff right now. Sweet. I like money. Money. They, apparently they had a dead guy chained up in the walls. That's not serial killer shit or anything. That's that's definitely uh. You know, what What? What good is a house as a home if there's not a dead, chained-up guy inside the walls? That's my view. I don't judge. You know, sometimes somebody runs their mouth a little too long, and you got to chain them up inside the walls to death. It is what it is. Um, I should probably try something else. Wow, it worked! 
Perfect. Oh, well, I purely guessed it. I was just moving through sequentially. Hey, bud. You, prisoner. What are you doing here? Justice has been served. By the will of Prince Adrian, I am free and on my way to Marcella. Amazing. Was your assassination attempt on the king forgiven? I was certain the world would run out of mana and gold be cheaper than clay before such a thing came to pass. Prince Adrian conducted an investigation and concluded I am no criminal. Maybe so, maybe so. Wondrous things are happening in Nostria. So what caused you to interrupt my meditation? Please restrain your golems so that I may pass. Since you were summoned by Prince Adrian himself, so be it. But I hope you don't believe mages always work for free. Erblity immobilatus! Yeah, dude. Herbal Bibby, Herbal Bibby, Immobiblobulus. Apparently I got 50 mana, so that's pretty cool. Have we actually figured out what the mana is used for? It said that I could use it for some kind of spell crafting thing or doing something, but like honestly, I don't know. Phantasmal Armor. I should have casted spells in combat so we could see what those look like. You need eight order points. Can you put like multiple points into these? Oh, I can have a reserve, too, so you can actually store that many units. You can only bring five into combat with you. Oh, did this one level up or something? He's got four guys now. Nice. Can I, like, heal them up? Because he's got four guys now? Doesn't look like I can fiddle with him just yet. Like, I would love to heal him up and kind of get him taken care of, but unfortunately, the option is not arising. I think you have to do it, like, after or before combat, maybe. I don't know. Morale. Neutral has no bonuses or penalties. Okay, so they, like, don't like to share space. So we kind of want to save up our points so that power and order units can be with each other. Did I do power or did I do... Oh, I did finesse. No wonder there's an issue. Hmm... Fair enough. My name is Splattercat. This is the new King's Bounty, King's Bounty 2. I don't think we're far enough in to really make a call about it. I will say that the voice acting and kind of the lip syncing and that sort of technical stuff right there is a little bit hinky. Aside from that, though, I do like the armor models. I do like the way that the character models look, and I do like the way that the army unit models look. And so anyways, maybe we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, we'll check it out. Maybe we'll check it out a little bit further on stream. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. That's about all I got for you for today. Don't forget to leave a like, and I'll be back with something hot and fresh off the video game skillet tomorrow.